Today's topic is about certifications and in particular technology certifications. I find myself getting a lot of questions on this topic. Okay. Certifications are important for an individual because they may provide a leg up or an advantage in their attempt to better themselves and provide a better future for themselves and their family. Certifications refer, refer to the confirmation of a certain characteristics of a person or an organization or an object. This confirmation is often but not always provided by some form of external review, education, or assessment. And often you will find that those external reviews uh, provide a considerable amount of weight or validity uh, in the marketplace. Certification is not the same as licensure. A lawyer has to, be, uh, has to pass the bar to practice in the state. Nurses have to pass a nursing exam and educators have to pass their state licensing exam uh, or, or have an, an articulation agreement with another uh, state in order to practice there. And those are a little different than professional certifications which speak, speak to a particular brand of knowledge. Uh, and where, Although the medical profession does have uh, certifications for like board, being board certified in thoracic surgery. Uh, in the nursing nursing field, you may find specific certifications for a particular specialty within the field, um, and we're going to talk about that a little bit more later. Certifications are they important to you? They may be. Uh, they can provide for increased earning power. They may be required by your employer. They can provide for knowledge and retooling. Uh, certainly an incentive I have for maintaining my Cisco certification is the fact that every three years I have to go back and basically refresh and pass an exam in order to show that I'm still current in the field. Uh, they may or may not be used for advancement. They very often are uh, in many organizations may be used as a prerequisite or a requirement for promotion to a, a higher position and they often provide a standard of quality and best practices for what an organization is looking for in terms of a certain skill set. If you go to Wikipedia and type in professional certification, you'll see that there are quite a few certification fields out there. Uh, if you browse down the list, it's fairly comprehensive. We, of course, are going to focus on computer technology. Okay? And if you shoot over to computer technology professional, professional certifications, you'll find that uh, there's quite a bit of information about that as well. To include, and we're going to talk about this a little bit, DOD Directive 8570.1, which while it only applies to the Department of Defense, DOD, um, or anyone working with it, that, that cuts a rather wide swathe. And for organizations that either work with it or think they might work with it, or might have someone in their organization that's interfacing with them. It's increasingly becoming the standard that people are att attempting to uh, meet as a minimum requirement. And DOD Directive 8570 has been around since around 2004-2005 and it requires every full and part-time military service member, defense contractor, con defense consultant, civilian and foreign employee with any kind of privileged access to a DD system to pass certain minimum qualifications. And I was rather impressed that DOD went out into the civilian marketplace, both vendor and vendor neutral, and established certain uh, certifications as meeting the requirement for that, which relieved DOD the, re uh, the responsibility for keeping things current. They let the organizations do that themselves. And if you blow into Wikipedia's blurb on education and professional certifications, you'll see that uh, my, I, as well as many other people, have done a certain amount of research on this, uh, which I obviously think is well worth following up on. But you will find that there are certifications in various fields can have a significant impact on your ability to get things done, as well as your ability to advance within the organization. Okay. Why are these skills potentially important? Uh, unless you plan to um, get fired from Donald Trump's uh, show, you're going to find very quickly you're going to need to be able to communicate as a minimum with the other members of your organization. Five workplace competencies uh, established by both the federal government and businesses based on business feedback to the federal government included the ability of a person to utilize resources, the ability to work with others, the ability to use information, to understand systems and how they work, and work with technology. And you'll find that of those five, four and possibly all five utilize a required understanding of technology, what it can do and what it can't do. Okay. And as a practical matter, the 600 pound gorilla in the workplace is Microsoft Office. Are there other systems out there? Are they less expensive? Can they get the job done? 
Quite possibly. And bear in mind that I don't own any stock or have any financial incentive in this. It's just a recognition that in the workplace, if you have to select a particular business application skill set to learn, the odds are you are going to run into Microsoft Office before you can run into anything else. Okay. Why would anybody want to develop some information technology skills? And we are often a little unclear about exactly what those are. Um, money. Career prospects, the ability to take care of yourself, take care of your family, your future family, uh, provide a good living and advance you know, in your chosen career field are good reasons for that. Not, uh, not to take away anything from the value of psychology, English, or business. Okay, The fact of the matter means that in science, technology, engineering, and math skill sets provide for the best entry-level salary conditions, and we see that here all the time. And in fact, it's not at all unusual for someone who is very close to graduation to suddenly find themselves with a fairly decent job, uh, hopefully in the area, and then they find themselves juggling their 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 suddenly forty to fifty thousand dollar job along with all their other requirements and the requirement to come you know come back and still finish their degree because you want to finish that degree a degree from a regionally accredited uh, non you know nonprofit organization like Triton College is something that's going to last you forever networking skills are and continue to be in demand uh, skill sets such as security social media which a lot of people tend to uh, utilize on a regular basis and not think twice about the MS office or Microsoft office skill sets just to get things done. Desktop support, Windows administration. Windows is still the 600 pound gorilla in terms of desktop computing. That's not to say that they are the only show in town, certainly not. Other skill sets in need include database management, telecommunications, and wireless. Uh, wire wireless is something else that we tend to take for granted. Uh, it's a little bit surprising to remember that something as basic as a cell phone or a smartphone is a luxury but many of us are not about to give up our cell phones and smartphones anytime soon because we've come to depend on it unemployment in the US uh, can run from you know six to ten percent depending on where you are US IT unemployment is around two point two percent and a lot of that has to do with simply the perception that it's too hard for many people to learn in many cases it's not jobs such as someone working with social media okay grew up to 75 percent in the last couple of years network security information assurance jobs because because organizations have to be able to show they're doing their best to protect you know protect a person's uh, information have grown phenomenally as well and really computer sciences scientists systems analysts software engineers and support specialists all are seeing good demand in fact the US Department of Labor predicts that by 2017 they expect about one out of every four jobs is going to be in some some facet of information technology. And, you know, because money does make the world go around to a certain extent, you have to pay the mortgage, you got to pay your utilities, you have to buy food. The average maximum salary for network security, not a ma not a manager, a network security engineer was $96,000. And the average median salary across the board, not just the top 25%, but across the board, was still not quite $76,000 a year. This is not bad. And a lot of people know a lot more about network security than they think they do. For example, real world situations, something that companies actually will pay a consultant to come in and tell them, although most of us know this already. Real world, when leaving your house, your apartment, or that cardboard box under a bridge, some people seem to insist on, you know, that they reside in. The single most effective thing you can do is A, install an alarm system. B, buy lots of snarling dogs. C, lock your doors and windows. Or D, uh, the college student favorite, own nothing. Because if you own nothing, grasshopper, then nothing can be stolen from you. But the real world answer is C, lock your doors and windows. And this is common sense. But the reality of it is, is that nine times out of ten, when we have some sort of a hacking penetration going on, it is somebody uh, internal to the organization getting their hands on a keyboard and doing something that is not entirely too cool. At Triton College, we offer cert certifications that map, uh, classes that map to our certifications as well as map to our degrees so you can kill two birds with one stone. 
and our students tend to uh, find employment rather readily. As I mentioned earlier, an ongoing issue is simply being able to get them back for the last few classes as they get very, very close to graduation. Our office application certi certificate is being very well received. It essentially requires two classes, CIS 101 and then CIS 150, and the person who walks out is pretty much a bona fide uh, expert in using the Microsoft Office. It makes them very, very valuable to an organization because the manager doesn't have to worry about will this person learn this stuff after I hire them. The person walks in the door knowing them. Another certification that builds on the office application specialist is the social media specialist. It's a couple more classes beyond the uh, two required for office application specialist. And, and again, most people tend not to think about everything that goes into social media, but organizations are increasingly realizing that it's a part of the world. They have to deal with it whether they like to or not. And they, in order to be effective, they need to find people who can correctly uh, address and spin, if you will, the message the company is trying to put out. Case in point, a few years ago, the Three Wolf Moon t-shirt went from about two or three shirts a day in terms of orders, and you can look this up on Amazon.com, to over a hundred shirts an hour just based on social media buzz. People uh, talked to other people, they read the reviews, thought many of them were funny. They went out and bought the shirts just, uh, just for fun because they were like $9. And it was saw a huge financial windfall on the behalf of the company who had done nothing uh, to earn it, but it gradually uh, re resulted in the construction, if you will, of a business model, you know, that emphasized use of social media to help get the word out about things. We also have a uh, certification process on PC and microcomputer technology. Uh, it's constantly changing. There's a lot more to it than most people realize. And when you consider that the average person pays $80 to $100 to take their computer down just to get it looked at, suddenly being able to do that work yourself starts to make a whole lot of sense. At a more advanced level, we also have certificates, and these all wrap into our degrees in routing and switching, also known as Cisco, security, wireless, and Microsoft certified professionals for both managing networks and managing Active Directory and web services. The people who basically pursue classes, certificates, and degrees at Triton College, as with just about any place else, uh, tend to be people that have good communication skills, good problem-solving skills. It's something people kind of enjoy doing. A clear vision of the big picture, as well as the small details that go within it. A desire to develop and implement their own ideas. A desire to work closely with other people, generally speaking. The ability to effectively manage people and projects. It's a little bit scary to realize that half of all projects that are begun are not finished successfully. And the ability to effectively manage time and resources because you can't do what you can't afford to do. And something else too. Information technology is not just a boys club. It is a, you know, is a, something that anybody can do. Anybody can learn. Uh, the financial rewards are there for just about anybody. Uh, and it's well worth looking into. If you have any questions on this topic, please you know, contact Triton College or on the web. We have a phone number. And again, we're a regionally accredited uh, institution of higher education. Pretty neat stuff.